so hello everyone in today's video we will revise the chapter number 9 of class 7 science that is soil so first of all let me introduce the word soil soil is the material which help to cover the upper surface of the earth there are many importance of soil in the picture there are several importance of the soil is mentioned the first one is it is a system which help to purify the water which goes to the underground it is a medium for plant growth because as we know that for the growth of the plant water and nutrients are required so this soil is the source by which nutrients and water is provided to the plant now the soil is also help in recycling the plant and animal waste which ultimately increases the soil fertility Soil is the home of various living creatures like earthworm etc. And it is the engineering medium all over the world because all the buildings, homes, schools, hospitals, they are built on the surface of soil only. So in simple words we can say that the soil has many uses. Moving to the next topic that is the soil pollution. Soil pollution is simply means that the contamination of any harmful substances into the soil. Nowadays why there are various human activities which leads to the soil pollution ultimately. In this picture these are several activities done by the human which generally causes soil pollution and there are some other factors like throwing of plastic bags and polythene into the soil. The, uh, the chemical waste products if they mixes into the soil simply they increases the soil pollution the waste that is directly coming from the factories they contain acid and base so they decreases the soil fertility and increases the soil pollution the excess use of fertilizers and pesticide also lead to decrease in the soil fertility and increase soil pollution and dumping another waste that is non biodegradable waste generally leads to the soil pollution so in any manner we should always aware people to decrease the soil pollution if you dig the surface of earth you will get vertical section of different layers of the soil and that is the soil profile now there are several components that are found in soil the first one is humus the dead and decaying matter of plant and animal waste that is the humus only okay the second thing is weathering the weathering is a process by which simply the rocks can be converted into soil by means of rain, flowing water, wind, temperature and climate condition. So these are the elements which are generally help to convert rocks into the soil and the process is called as weathering. Now parent rock is simply the rock by which soil is prepared and the texture and the properties of soil is depend upon the type of parent rock only. Now let's discuss the layer of soil in a deep manner. The first layer is called as horizon A. It is also called as top soil and it is visible to us. Top soil consisting a rich amount of humus and minerals. It also contains a large amount of nutrients. It has better water holding capacity and that's why the plants are generally grow in the top soil only. Top soil is the living of various living creatures like insects, worms, beetles, rodents, moles, earthworm, etc. Now talking about the second layer that is the horizon B. It is the middle layer and it contains less amount of humus. It has large amount of minerals. Uh, the metals which are found as a ore they found the most in horizon B. Texture of soil in origin B have hard in nature. It is slightly light in color and very compact as compared to the top soil. Now talking about origin C that is the third layer. It contains small pieces of rocks and there are cracks in them. It generally contains large pieces of rocks. Bedrock is the last layer of the soil profile. Bedrock cannot be further dig with the help of spade because they are very hard. In this picture you can simply see how the soil profile look. There are four different layers, origin A, origin B, origin C and the last one is bedrock. Now how soil is formed? The parent rock divided into simpler pieces by the action of various climate conditions. 
and this lead to the formation of soil. Now soil have several property like it is porous in nature. Firstly, the soil is not porous, but by the action of air and water make it porous and that's why the soil is able to retain water easily. Now soil is a mixture of various raw particles and humus. Based upon the size of the particles, we have further divided soil into the three main types that is clay, loam and sand and the fourth type is the silt. Okay. Now talking about the sandy soil, according to the particle size, sandy soil have maximum particle size, they have more space in between them due to the large spaces. The sandy soil is not able to retain the water easily. So they cannot hold the water for longer period of time. Sandy soil are very light and dry in nature. And simply in Rajasthan area you can simply find the sandy soil. The sandy soil are lack in nutrients. That's why it will not help in the growth of plant. With the sandy soil, clay soil have very thin particles. And due to this it have negligible or very less space. It is less aerated, means air is very less present in them, but clay soil have maximum water holding capacity and it is very helpful for the growth of plants because the different type of plants can be easily grown in the clay soil. Loamy soil is the type of soil in which large as well as small particles are combined together. It is the combination of sandy, clay and silt soil. It generally contain humus. It have moderate water holding capacity. So that is it will be helpful for the growth of plant. The loamy soil is also called as agriculture soil because due to the fertility and appropriate texture which are required for the plant. The fourth type of soil is silt soil. It generally contain the particles which are smaller than the sandy but greater than the clay soil. Silt soil can hold water to some extent, even fine quality is there. They are generally found near to the river banks and lakes. This is the good property. As the fertility is greater in silt soil, so it will be very helpful for the growth of plants. So it will be used as an agriculture purposes. According to the particle size, sandy soil have greater particles than silt and followed by clay. Now talking about the different properties of water. First of all, we need to study the percolation of water through the soil. Percolation rate is simply defined as the ratio of amount of water retained per percolation time. And what is the SI unit of percolation rate? ML per minute. And depend upon the different type of soil, the water holding capacity, the percolation rate is different in all the different type of soil. Uh, what is percolation of water? The seepage of water through the surface of the layers is called as percolation. Now the moisture. Moisture as we know that in the monsoon season there is large amount of water molecules in the air that make the air full of moisture. The moisture is the amount of water present in different type of soil. As we know that the clay soil have maximum water holding capacity, just so the clay soil is full of moisture. Now there is a question, why air above farmland appears shimmering during the daytime? When the sunlight is falling on the surface of soil, some amount of water droplets they evaporate into the air and these water droplets reflect the light which is coming from the sun. And due to this reason only the soil looks like shimmering at the data. Now absorption is simply the water holding capacity of any of the soil and depend upon the size and depend upon the type of soil the absorption of water is also different in different soil. Now talking about the texture we have discussed different particle size and that leads to the different texture. Now the color of the soil is simply depend upon the amount of humus and minerals present in them. Like black soil is very useful for the growth of cotton plant. Similarly brown, red, white, different type of colors are available in different areas. Whether the soil is acidic, basic or neutral. 
depends upon the pH value. If pH of the soil is greater than 7, then the soil is basic. If the pH of the soil is, is lower than 7, the soil will be acidic. If the soil has pH 7, in that situation the soil is neutral in nature. And neutral soil is very important for the growth of plant. Air content. As we know that the soil have different particle size and that's why different type of soil have different air content in them. By simple this table we can judge different type of soil properties altogether. What are the factors that are depend upon the growth of plant in the soil? The things are temperature, humidity, rainfall, sunlight and wind. Now this type of soil is important for the growth of particular plant. This is a big question. Now sandy soil is important for the growth of plants like potato, lettuce, corn and peppers. In clay soil you can simply grow sprouts, broccoli, beans, cabbage. Loamy soil is good for the plants which have apple, carrots, tomato and cucumber. Now the most important question of this chapter the soil erosion soil erosion is the simply removal of upper and the topmost layer of the soil and the main causes of soil erosion is vegetation and deforestation deforestation means the cutting of large amount of trees for the human need turn time strong winds soil water rain water floods this also leads soil erosion. There are several phenomena how you can decrease the soil erosion, avoid deforestation and plant afforestation. Plant more and more trees and grass. Grass also holds the soil together. Implement step farming in the mountain areas. I hope you all have learned this chapter very well. This was the revisional video. That's why I have revised this chapter in a rapid manner. Please do like and share this video with your friends. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe the channel for the latest updates. Thank you so much.